My name is Robin McDonough, and I'm a staff member in the History and Genealogy Department at the St. Louis County Library. Welcome to the Introduction to Newspapers.com tutorial. Newspapers.com is a database that contains thousands of newspapers. Newspapers can be an invaluable research tool for your genealogy. They can help you make connections, prove facts, and just put some meat on the bones of your family tree. The St. Louis County Library offers its patrons access to newspapers.com. You'll first need to visit our website at slcl.org. Once there, hover over the Research tab and then click Online Genealogy Resources. All of our databases and websites will be in alphabetical order, so scroll down to newspapers.com. Once you click on it, you will be asked to type in your last name, library card number, and PIN. This is what the newspapers.com homepage looks like. There are a few ways to search newspapers.com. This is how you perform a general search. You can click on the search tab or just type the search terms into the box in the center of the homepage. I am going to search for articles about the child's restaurant chain as I believe I have ancestors that were involved in its founding, and I'd like to find out more information. It's great that I have so many results, but I have almost a million, so I'm going to need to filter them. Keep in mind, though, when it comes to your search results, your best matches are usually located at the top. Those further down may only contain one of your search terms. All of the filters can be found out to the left side. In this case, I am going to filter by location, as I suspect the child's family may have been from New Jersey. I can also get more specific and choose a newspaper. Now I have fewer results. Based on the preview, this article looks interesting, so I am going to click on it. This article does mention the founders of the restaurant. If I want to get more context, I can click through the paper by using the buttons at the bottom. I would like to keep this article, so I am going to click on Print Save. Now I can choose to print or save the entire page or just the article. Then I choose Print or Save. And if I choose to save, I can either save as a JPEG or as a PDF. You can also search for items in newspapers.com in a specific newspaper. Click on the Papers tab. I'd like to search for an item in the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I type it in the newspaper box and then click the result. Now I am only searching in the Post-Dispatch. I would like to find an obituary for an ancestor of mine, Julia Nicholson. It looks like I have several results. Earlier, we filtered by location. This time, I'd like to filter by date. I believe Julian Nicholson passed away in 1909, so I would like to search just that year. You can also search by a specific year, month, and day, or in a date range. This first result looks like it could be the obituary I'm looking for. This is the obituary, and it looks like it not only contains family members, but some other genealogy clues as well. If you are not sure what newspapers are available in newspapers.com for the places your ancestors were from, you may want to click on the Browse tab. Here, you can narrow by country, state, city, paper, year, month, and day, and then you can browse the pages of the paper if you'd like. You can also look at available papers on a map by clicking on See Papers by Location. Clippings are articles that others have saved to their personal newspapers.com or ancestry.com accounts. If you would like to look at these, click on the Clippings tab. Keep in mind, though, you will not be able to clip and save your own articles when using the St. Louis County Library's version of newspapers.com. 
the OCR, or Optical Character Recognition Technology, that Newspapers.com uses is not perfect. If you are not getting the results you'd like, try. Performing the search again. Sometimes the algorithm used changes a little each time you search. Try browsing the paper. If the paper is too dark or the print is smudged, the characters may not be recognized. Try searching for other words that may be included in the newspaper item you are looking for. For example, if you are looking for an obituary for a female under her married name, also try her maiden name, as that was typically included as well. Also, try looking in other newspapers. Newspapers.com is the largest searchable newspaper database, but there are other papers that can be found on other websites and in local libraries. This concludes the Introduction to Newspapers.com tutorial. I wish you much luck with your newspaper searching.